Welcome everyone to the Rutgers Scarlet Knights Dynasty and today we are playing the Purdue Boilmakers. Purdue comes into this matchup 3-0 undefeated but this is their first conference game. David Blau is hurt so we have Sinlier as the quarterback but he's still a pretty solid quarterback at an 82 overall. This team it's a pretty solid team, but I think it's definitely beatable. They're, they definitely have some weak spots, noticeably a little bit on the linebacker and cornerback area. So let's get on to it right away as we see the conference standings, or the Big Ten leaders standings, with Michigan State, Michigan, Ohio State, all up there. So... Without further ado, let's start this game as Purdue has the ball at around the 25. Blau to throw, who is actually not hurt. I mean, I, I thought he was, but he's out there now as it's second and 10, and it's incomplete after that. So third down and 10 already. Can the Rutgers defense get a stop? Blau to throw to the left. He's got a man. It's caught by Herdman, but he goes nowhere. So a nice stop already from the Rutgers defense. As Hunter Hayek is back deep to return this punt. He takes it and he bounces it to the outside. And Hunter Hayek is a good return out to the 49-yard line. A quick third and eight for Rutgers, though, is Sikowski to throw to the right. He's got Bo Melton for the first down. Trying to get him involved more in this offense. First and ten. Here's a little option. They give it to Jonathan Hillman as he bounces it to the outside a little bit. And he gets about a game nine. Third and seven. Sikowski to throw down the middle and it should have been intercepted. It was a terrible pass. So the Rutgers Scarlet Knights tack on three points as Purdue has the ball back at around the 30. And they give it to Terrio Fuller. And Fuller's got a good gain at around 8 to pick up the first down. This is another no-huddling team, so let's see if we can keep up with the pace on defense. As now it's a first and 10. And a dump off, and Hopkins makes a man miss and stiff arms one as he picks up 12 yards. Blow to throw. And he's under pressure, and down he goes. We've been seeing better pressure lately from our defensive front as Previon gets the sack, and that'll force Purdue to punt the ball. Here's to give to Raheem Blackshear, and he's taken down for a loss of four. Not the great, not a great run there. Now third and 14, Sikowski to throw, and that should have been picked off as well. Looking for maybe Blackshear on the screen, but he overthrew him. So second and six at about the 40. Blau to throw to the right and it's swatted away. Good defense there by our secondary. He's just been really, they've been playing good together. Third and six, Blau to throw and this time we have a lapse in the secondary as Sparks is wide open for the first down. Third and four. Fuller Jr. goes in motion out to the left. Blau to throw. To the left, he's got Hopkins, and Hopkins stiff arms a defender to get the first down. He is a big dude to bring down. Third and two. Blau to throw, and he gets sacked. I think he tripped over his own guy, and that'll bring up fourth down. So Purdue takes the three points. Second and 13 for Sikowski's offense. A star, and this one's intercepted by Thienman. Right down the middle this time, Sikowski doesn't get bailed out. And he's had some bad throws to start this game, and that is not what you like to see if you're a Rutgers fan. First and ten, the give is to Terry Fuller to the right. He's got a hole, and he's got a first down of a gain of 11. A couple plays later, their first and goal at the one. Fuller is into the end zone for the touchdown. And Purdue takes the lead when now it's 10 to 3. And Sikowski's offense is back onto the field. Here's the read option, and Sikowski's got a gain of around 9. First and 10 at around the 44. 
Sikowski to throw. Down the middle, he's got Jerome Washington. A much better throw that time. He picks up seven yards. First and 10 at the 25. Sikowski, another read option. And he's got a big gain of around 14 yards, tackled at around the 11 yard line. Now a second and four. Sikowski, another read option, and he's into the end zone for a five yard touchdown run himself. So the Rutgers, uh, Rutgers Scarlet Knights are able to retie the game. And here's Terry Fuller with a big hole up the middle. He's got a first down of around 13 yards. Second and one. Blau to throw. Blau's got a man. It's caught by Herdman, and Herdman's got a good gain. Around 13 tackle inside Rutgers' 35-yard line. After two incompletions, though, it's third and ten. Blau to throw. To the right. The sideline, and it's dropped by Anthrop. He heard some footsteps, and the Rutgers defense is able to poke the ball out of his hands. Here's the field goal attempt, and this one's up, and it is good. A long field goal as he just gets it over. First and ten, here's to give to Jonathan Hillman, and he's got about a gain of six. Trying to feed the hot hand at running back sometimes. Second and five, here's Raheem Blackshear. Cuts it to the outside, now into the inside, and he's got a gain of eight as he picks up the first down. Rutgers driving again. They have the ball at around the 23. Here's Jonathan Hillman, and he picks up the first down. About a gain of three. First and 10 around the 22. Sikowski, play action. Uh, flushed out, and he is sacked. A loss of eight. And that brings up a third and 18. Sikowski to throw under pressure, and he's sacked again. And that takes Rutgers out of field goal range, so they have to punt the ball. So third and two for Purdue. And looks like they're chewing up some clock here. Around the 30-yard line. Here's Blow on a read option, and he keeps it himself, and he's got a good gain of around eight as he's pushed out of bounds. way this game has been going, but it looks like Purdue should still be taking a shot here. They got around the 40-yard line. They got 44 seconds. So here we go. Blau to throw a slant down the middle. It's caught by Zico. Zico with the open space now. Blayshon also getting chase, and he tackles him at the one with a shoestring diving save. But Purdue has the ball now at the one-yard line. And it looks like they're going to try to punch it in here. 34 seconds left to go. Wow, the pitch out to Terrio Fuller, and he's into the end zone for another touchdown. A huge disappointment right there from the Rutgers defense, giving up a touchdown before the half. But the Rutgers offense driving now, and maybe you could get some of those points back. Sikowski. Rolls out to the right, under pressure. Throws it across his back foot, and he's got Hunter Hayek. A beautiful throw. Leads up a field goal opportunity here for David. And David's kick is up, and it is no good. Not sure if it had the distance or not, but he was just a little bit wide right on this kick. And that's close. I don't think it would have had the distance. But that takes us to half as Purdue is up 20 to 10. Can the Rutgers Scarlet Knights come back and make this a more competitive game? So first and ten here. Hunter Hayek in motion. They give it to Hunter Hayek on a sweep. And Hunter Hayek's got some room to the outside. And there he goes. Hunter Hayek down the sideline. Finally wrapped up at around the 12. It's a 63-yard run for Hunter Hayek on the jet sweep. Brings up a first and ten at the 12. Sikowski to throw to the left. He's got Hunter Hayek down the middle. And that is a quick touchdown for Rutgers. So Hunter Hayek with two plays goes 75 yards. 
And a nice throw there by Sikowski, screaming down the edge. So just a three-point game is blow back to pass. He's looking deep, and it's intercepted by St. Juan Har uh, Hampton. There we go. And now the defense has got some momentum as we get our pick of the... I don't know if that's our first pick of the, for, uh, the season, but whatever. That is an interception. That was a nice play by Saquon Hampton. Third and three now. Sikowski to throw to the right. He's got Jerome Washington. He's got the first down as they're inside Purdue's 45-yard line. First and ten. The give is to Raheem Blackshear, and he makes a move, and he's got about a gain of eight. Second and seven. The give is to Jonathan Hillman, and he's got some space, and he's got the first down for a gain of eight. Almost inside the red zone here. First and ten. Sikowski. Play action. Looking for a man. He rolls out to the left. Throws on the run. And he's got Jerome Washington. Another impressive throw from Arthur Sikowski. And now maybe he's getting things going. As he has his first two touchdown game, I believe, of the season. 24 to 20 now as Rutgers takes the lead. 240 left to go in the third, and what a throw by Anthro uh to Anthrop, excuse me, from Blau. And a nice catch by Anthrop as well. Now second and eight. Anthrop goes in motion to the left. Blau to throw. To the left he goes. It's caught by Zico as he they say he gets one foot in bounds. Was pretty close though. That brings up a third and seven though. And here's the screen to Terry Fuller, and Fuller picks up the first down and more. A gain of 13 as no one was watching the screen. Third and 10 though. Rutgers are getting themselves into good situations. Can they capitalize off of it? Blau is sacked by Batake. And that is a huge sack. And Purdue does tack on three, though, so their kicker has kept them in this game. Sikowski back to throw. He's got Hunter Hayek down the middle to the sideline. Hunter Hayek goes again, and he's got a big gain of around 25 to 30 yards. Hunter Hayek with the playmaking ability in the third quarter. Here's the read option. Sikowski keeps it. Sikowski's got the first down. They give him nine, and that takes us to the fourth quarter. First and ten. And it's a play action. Sikowski, he's got Shameen Jones. And Shameen Jones down the sideline too. It goes for 29 yards. The passing attack is really starting to get things going. As now it's first and goal at the five. Sikowski to throw. Down the middle. He's got Jerome Washington for the five-yard touchdown. Arthur Sikowski's first three touchdown game all through the air. And it's 31 to 23. Blau to throw. And he goes down. A huge sack by Tuverdove. I, or I'm going to call him Mike from now on. He got too many tough te uh, names on this team. As they read option again with Arthur Sikowski as he picks up about a gain of 10. Rutgers chewing up that clock. Second and seven. The gives to Raheem Blackshear. He cuts it back in, and Raheem Blackshear's close to the marker. They give him seven. First and ten at Purdue's 39. Four minutes left to go in the game. Sikowski play action. Looking for a man. He dumps it off to Jerome Washington, who stumbles forward for a gain of seven. Washington's had a pretty nice day himself. Seven catches, 54 yards, and two TDs. Third and six now. Sikowski to throw to the left. He's got Shameen Jones for the first down. Third and four, just 2-12 left to go. Purdue only has one timeout left. Sikowski to throw down the middle. He's got Jonathan Hillman for the first down. And Purdue will lose. So we give Purdue their first L of the season as we win 34 to 23.
The first half was really shaky on both sides of the ball, but then we started to get things going in the second half, offensively and defensively. The defense only allowed three points in the second half, and I believe we put up 24 points in the second half. Hunter Hayek was a big part to that third quarter success, getting things going, the jet sweep 63-yard run. And I was really impressed that we were able to come back and in this game, make it competitive, and end up pulling out the win. And this go and this was a big game for Sikowski, throwing three interceptions in back-to-back -back games. So huge win for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. But next week we have a huge test versus Ohio State. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see you there for that match. Peace.